Well, hopefully you're all dried out by now. I'm Jessa Bryce Beck, and this is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Four to nine inches of rain falling area wide over the weekend. Emerson Lehman is in a waterlogged elm grove. A soggy start to the school week for some students here at Pilgrim Park Middle School. As you can see, their bus trapped in high waters. The district says approximately 20 students were on the bus at the time of this incident. Fortunately, they are all safe and back in the classroom today. Residents that live in the area say that this part of the roadway floods a lot, but they've never seen a school bus get trapped, all showing the heavy rain that we had over the weekend. We are glad all those kids are safe. Thank you, Emerson. And check this out. Part of I-94 shut down due to heavy rain and flooding. We're talking lots of rain here. Several snow plows, yes, snow plows, used to try and clear this interstate. Those plows pushing water into a drainage system. The interstate has now been reopened. Well, with all the rain over the weekend, what will we see for this work week? Drew, those totals, man, up to nine inches plus. Yeah, Milwaukee about five and a half inches. That's the eighth wettest two day total on record and uh, the four and a half or so that they received on Sunday. That's the most amount in one day in September. So way too much rainfall tonight. We will be expecting a few uh, light showers coming through. Now the good part is if you have been experiencing some flooding, we're not expecting enough rain to cause any issues. But as we walk you through this evening, there will be some scattered showers. Some areas could pick up to about a tenth uh, of an inch of rainfall. We're quiet through about 8 o'clock, but between 8 and 10, some light showers. Tomorrow, though, we clear out mid-70s. And Jessup, we've got dry weather for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, heading into the weekend. Oh, music to a lot of people's ears right now. Thank you, Drew. Well, the Milwaukee Health Department is now administering new COVID bivalent booster vaccines. The free shots will be available to eligible people over the age of 12 starting today at the Menominee Valley drive through Clinic and tomorrow at the Northwest and Southside Health Centers. Check our website, cbs58.com, for more details. Officials at the Milwaukee County Election Commission and advocates for those with disabilities teaming up today for National Disability Voting Rights Week. Last month, a federal judge struck down a decision made earlier in the year. Now people are allowed to have assistance when submitting absentee ballots. People with disabilities say there are still a lot of voting related obstacles this year. Well, the Medical College of Wisconsin breaking ground today on its new cancer research facility, a milestone development project. According to the college, it's the only cancer dedicated research facility in Milwaukee and eastern Wisconsin. Construction is expected to be finished in 2024. UW health officials, nurses and union leaders reaching an agreement today avoiding a strike. The nurses had been calling for union recognition and were set to go on strike tomorrow. Uh, talking at the Capitol, Governor Tony Evers said that both parties wanted to find a solution when mediations started last Wednesday. Well, did you know Milwaukee Brewers pitcher Brent Suter is a children's book author? And we've told you about it before, so there's a good chance you are. But today, look at this, Suter reading to kindergarten and first graders. This is at the Maleka Early Learning Center. His book, The Binky Bandit, tells the story of his golden doodle Wally and his infatuation for Suter's son's pacifiers. The binky, right? The event was hosted by Sharp Literacy, a nonprofit that aims to foster a love of learning. Well, a tough, tough loss for the Packers against the Vikings yesterday, but the pack is back at Lambeau Field this Sunday for another division rival. It's the Bears in primetime action, and the Bears won their opening game yesterday against the 49ers. And coming up tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10, we have seen what this level of rain has done to our roads and schools, right? But what about its impact on farmers? Plus, a petition against a school district's dress code is circulating. Find out why some students and parents are upset. We will see you tonight, but for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessa Bricebeck. We appreciate you watching.